Hi people, welcome to my episode 7 of Minecraft Let's Play Season 3. I already finished cleaning most of this uh, great wood tree. I had recorded part of the startup process, but I'm afraid I again forgot to turn on the microphone. So I lost the data. Uh, I forgot to turn the difficulty to hard again after playing around a little in my laboratory world but uh, I can confirm to you right now after looking at some stuff and researching on the internet a little that uh, there are two kind of zombies once you install some craft first you have the vanilla zombies we already found uh, a monster spawner for, for them and then we have the um, Thumbcraft version. Uh, this Thumbcraft version are more um, aggressive, you could say. They are intelligent and they have a low chance of dropping a brain in a jar, which is then used to get uh, some good stuff, especially regarding research. Oh, also. I realized why I was getting nowhere with uh, the bookshelves around the question and uh, uh, well using cobblestone. Essentially, uh, the, all the items surrounding the question gives uh, at most a uh, two percent bonus if they are a special some craft item or if they are regular bookshelves they give a 1% bonus however is a, a bonus to the total research uh, you are going to produce so with the um, cobblestone I would be getting like 3.3% um, uh, or something no I believe it's like a 10% sorry at a one percent, so it would be what as I said, um, three point three percent uh, per attempt. Uh, what else? Oh yes, for research help, I believe the best is uh, to use the um, what was the name? Oh yes, the bookshelves. They give uh, nearly a thirty percent of bonus. Oh, look. Ink. Yes, you can recognize an old uh, gamer and role player because we see stuff in the world, not as mobs, not as live and things, but as drops. Oh dear, I feel so bad right now. Anyway, it's not uh, as bad as uh, if I were. Uh, Knights of the lunch table player, Hackmaster, if you rem know the game. Oh, I can graph these leaves too. Which would be great if uh, I were able to get some sort of seed from here, but since I can't, they will drop at least Quicksilver, which is used in the future then, well, there's not much, much uh, I can do with those leaves, but place them and wait for them to decay. So I am now going to start going back to my base, which is in that direction, that general direction, and I'll see you there if uh, I manage to get there before night gets me. So you can see I managed to get 22 Great wood saplings, and while killing some chickens, I also managed to get some, yeah, some grass. As I said, uh, the chainsaw seems to act like, um, oh, and I'm going to get some basalt. I can later uh, add it to my, um, oh, an another obelisk. By the way, I discovered uh, opening obelisk release uh, lots of taint in the atmosphere, so be really careful with that. 
just let me mark this one and I'll be on my way <clears throat> oh it's an X so there it is the taint system I already found oh yes uh, I was telling you that the um, chainsaw works as a uh, shears however it won't uh, shear um, a ship it will kill it whoops and I forgot to bring myself my scoop so I can't get uh, this well you can see there is no difference no matter what you hit the taint with but at least you can kill it. Yay! It's uh, hard to get rid of it. And can I get this wood for something? Maybe. We shall see. Anything here that can be of use? Not really. So purely as uh, some sort of curiosity, I am going to check uh, I'm going to give myself some items from here so we can see what's happening. Uh, I will destroy it after all, after that. Okay, so I suppose it's... Oh dear! Be careful, I, uh, cr uh, critters will become hostile. So you can see we, there is more taint than this in here. Oh, however, it is not uh, a great uh, amount. I suppose it's one of the ca rare cases where it's a natural spawn of um, of tainted terrain, and surprisingly, this ship didn't turn against us. So what moths can get uh, tainted? All of them. Creepers will explode and expand the taint, while other moths, like uh, for example testificates, will only attack the player. Uh, all the other moths, or the anim or the animals, I mean, will attack everything that is not hostile. So they will attack uh, pliers, they will attack... Oh, another obelisk. Let's mark it. This spawned recently. <coughs> they will attack other animals, they will attack the plier, they will... I don't know if they will attack themselves. Oh! Another troublemaker. Okay, uh, and I need to go this... Whoa! I might need to craft myself a, a, another boat. <coughs> oh dear. I am really full. I am not. Well, I can live without seeds and without saplings. Thank you very much. And without good grass. So anyway, I'm going back to the base and there's no need to record this uh, epic journey through the wilderness with your host. And as you can see, I already made this trip in here. Yep. So I'll be back with you as soon as I am home. Okay, I just unloaded my inventory and I am going to test right now. Uh, don't tell me. I suppose, I hope it is not a great hood in there. I would be hitting my head heavily. Oh well. I prefer not to know, for now at least. Let's see... Okay, Greatwood is not affected by bone meal. It would be too easy. So let's plant uh, these two very widely apart without any kind of uh, obstruction and let them grow by themselves. In the meantime, I am going to kill this little pester in there. Okay. 
And there's another in there. This is quite strange. I swear there wasn't any kind of... Oh well. And it's now some sort of research time. Okay, so what kind of research am I, am I going to do? Well, <clears throat> the kind that is not related to anything else. I'm going to need two diamonds, four gold and three obsidian. And I'm going to craft uh, a world anchor. Yes, I know it would be better just to... Um, what was it again? Four gold. It would be better just to have um, the regular uh, look, uh, loaders, but uh, I, I, as I understand it, this is a, a more potent version that uh, will keep uh, several blocks working at once, regardless of uh, well other considerations. So I'm going to place it in here. Let's see... well, it's a good sidestep. Let's see, uh, it was F9, I believe, to show the, the loading junk, uh, chunks. Or maybe not. Oh well. Maybe I need... Uh, it's only uh, reacting to the regular ones. Anyway, I hope it will work. Mm, yes, I know, I just uh, wiped out a uh, good plantation without noticing. So, what am I going to do now? Uh, no, this goes up here. Well, um, I go into storage, the saplings, and wait to see what happens. And I am going to research the brain in a jar, which I foolishly took downstairs. By the way, I should took, take this uh, also downstairs. Uh, for that, I am going to need some library, some bookshelves to boost the the system. So let's see, mm, three books, six of these. I am going to need more. Oh well, okay. <coughs> I am going to need more wood after all. Uh, let me see. For example. Yes, I know I, th I threw that uh, in front of me, it wasn't intentional, but uh, I collected it soon enough. So I want to make some small changes in here. I am going to add some arcane bellows. You can see here, which require more enchanted wood and some by Bruce crystals and iron ingots and leather. I need to make four of those. And I want to research the crystalline well. <coughs> uh, the crystalline well is uh, made researching oak, of course. I didn't got my stuff from here. You need to research uh, any crystal. Let's, for example, use tainted crystal since I consider them to be so disposable. And you have a chance of discovering them. Look, got some fragments of lost knowledge. So, if I place this in here, I have 4% chance of success. I place these two in there, it goes up to 12. So, let's see if we are lucky. Do you feel lucky? Well, we are not. We were not lucky in the, in the least. Oh dear. Lost the crystal, got nothing. Let's get uh, more tainted crystals. So you can... Did I just hear something crashing down? Oh well. You can see how this uh, works. Yay! Fragment of tainted knowledge. Seventy-five percent loss, ODR. Two fragments of tainted knowledge. Okay, three fragments. I won't try to get more. 
Uh, I need more paper, I need more bookcases, and I'll be back with you as soon as I resume the... well, investigation. Remember our farm? Here it is. I believe it's doing rather nicely. Anyway, I'm going to expand it uh, with some in the middle stuff, like uh, so, yes. I'd, I'd uh, prefer to make it some paired in the center, but uh, I believe it won't be possible. And I'm going to plant uh, melons. Well, uh, no, not melons, since I don't have them. Oh, can't get water from here. Let's go down. But uh, I will be getting... I will be using pumpkins, at least. And it's night time. I suppose I should be monster hunting if I want to get more brain in a jar. Uh, sorry, if I want uh, to get more brains. You know, it's rather funny. I'm going to hunt zombies to get their brains. Instead the other way around. But, uh, well... Rather funny, not really bad, I must say. Okay. There we go. Now we till the area. Yes, I know. Uh, don't worry. I don't think it's to be. It's going to be a problem to have this in here. But I will place this like so. And as you can see, I didn't disturb any of my tilling. Yay! Oh dear, got a creeper. Got a creeper. Yeah. Ah, got a creeper. Creeper dead. Uh, there were some flames around here. Yep. An archer. And a skeleton. Huh. One hit, one dead. I like them. This uh, baby. But uh, I, I need to be a little mindful of uh, energy. Oh! You little traitor attacking me from behind oh dear I now feel useless I know they can't hurt me but they can grow up can't they uh, anyway I didn't sow any zombies so that's all for the night sadly I might need to go underground to get them. And as you can see, I keep uh, producing copper and the like. Oh yes, I should start breaking coal again. So anyway, oh, gunpowder should go in there. Hey, look, got some Eternalis fuel and blaze powder. That's what you get for completely forgetting you have something running. Okay. <clears throat> uh, what else do we need to do right now? Oh yes, recharging the bat pack should be a pretty good high priority. Uh, I believe I'm going to make uh, two or three more... <coughs> solar panels and I get rid of this generator but uh, before I do that uh, I'll eat something yes thank you and I am going to craft myself the arcane bellows I already mentioned before if we check uh, this we see the recipe requires enchanted wood, iron, viperous crystal and leather so uh, iron, leather, enchanted wood is downstairs, and viperous crystals are downstairs. Of course, I know I need to craft more enchanted wood. And I'm going to need... Uh, I don't really want to... Let's use uh, like three of these. Okay. 
<coughs> oh, and you can see I am already using the trick I told you before. These are actually four half um, smooth stone blocks placed on top of the chest, and it allows me to open and close it at will. Uh, so, recipe. Yes, I know it looks strange. Oh, I like the those crystals. I'm going to need to craft four of these, of course. They are only useful essentially for, well, they are only useful, oh dear, I'm going to be a little short on materials right now. <coughs> Should have taken this enchanted wood from here. Anyway, uh, I was telling you something which I should be remembering sometimes. There we go. Four arcane levels. Yes, uh, they will boost this system in here. However, I have a problem, and that's it. Uh, I need to be able to apply some redstone current to this system for it to work right. And by working right, I mean not burn all the fuel at the first chance you have. And I didn't saw this. But now that I do, I'm going to get it. Yay. Oh, more. Okay. So I'm going to get something. I have something to plug it uh, already. So what are we going to do here, essentially? I'm going to graft one of these and place it in here, in here, and in here. And I am going to uh, make use of rest power to control the fuel that goes here. Okay. Let's clear this a little after all. I don't really need a great amount of clearance in here. Just the bare minimum. Okay, so let's make the intake. Let's make the intake uh, like. Okay, I'm going to make the levering in there. And it's perfect. And you might not be hearing them. There are monsters nearby. I can hear them. Anyway, uh, now I'm going to uh, place another arcane fellow in there. Yes. Shift. Uh, well, kneeling to place items still works. Great. So now I'm going to need uh, to make some redstone piping. Okay, we now get the chance to to use for the first time the blue electric alloy furnace. In a 3x1 ratio we use copper and tin to get ourselves brass. And by the way I just checked the uh, LRAM page. And uh, pre-release 5B of uh, REST Power 2 has been released. Uh, I'll, tr I'll try to update it my setup and see if it survives the, actual the actualization. It's won't, uh, it will not contain new stuff, only bug fixes. Uh, more than likely it will be for the new stuff that I didn't be, uh, made, like the... Uh, like rest power control or the frames. Anyway, uh, 36 brass ingots is more than enough for now, while the rest cooked up by themselves. And I need some glass. Yes, perfect. So we are going to take one piece of glass and two pieces of brass, and we are going to get pneumatic tubing. 64 should suffice for now. Now we're going to get this pneumatic tubing and we're going to get some redstone. Mm, we are 
we don't have much, but we have enough. So we are going to um, twenty should be okay. Okay, okay. I know I messed up. Okay, twenty enough. And now I need some covers, which I placed in here with some stuff I wanted to get down, which is perfect time now. So I'm going to need also to cook something else now that I think about it. I need to craft my very first... Uh, it's, it's a strange because it's usually one of the first things I make. But uh, I am going to craft my first piece of uh, rest power logic. I'm going to get some iron and I'm going out and take out the brass from the furnace if it's well, it already finished. And I'm going to place four pieces of iron and some redstone, and it will go in turned. It will be going to be turned into okay into red alloy ingots. Just six is enough. <coughs> These red alloy ingots are something I am going to need. Uh, I'm going to need one more, by the way. Because of what am I going to do? Are used to craft... Uh, you use them to craft red alloy wire. Or, if you use it alone, surrounded by stone covers, you make it into stone jacketed wire. I'm going to make a handful of them, by the way. <coughs> and they are useful because it's one of the ways of uh, connecting, uh, for example, tubings to the to the base. Well, I could have used regular redstone, but I didn't thought it was fancy. So sue me. <coughs> So what are we going to do now is to get this redstone tube, which, why, by the way, will uh, what's will transmit rest uh, rest power, uh, redstone currents, I mean, and we are going to place it in here. We are going to go all this way. Okay. If this is the exit, oh well, it's not problem. I will make uh, an access later. So, here and here, here and here, okay. And we break this, let me break this old too. We didn't make what I was intending to do. We require this. We place this in the top. We get our stone jacketed wire and place it in here. You know how is it connected. And now we get up and place it in here. OK. So now we grab our lever. And if everything is OK, yeah, perfect. You can see we are now transmitting redstone current to this uh, system, which I can. Ah, oh, yes, I can access. So I'm going to get some coal and get back and t test it. Uh, let's get, for example, two pieces of coal. I don't want to um, waste uh, too much energy in here. So we get the coal in here, and you can see it's not working right now. Perfect. Because we are applying redstone current. And uh, let's, of course, I have some iron with me, which is perfect for this demonstration. If we turn it on, the cauldron is lit and it's burning material, and you can see we are producing bees at much uh, quicker ratio. You can see it is now uh, with some fuel on top because it's off and it won't be wasting it like it would uh, normally be doing. Uh, 
And yes, I know I could have done this without so much complication, but I intend to place here a deployer and here a test or something so I can directly fit the <coughs> I can directly fit the well this thingy, the Taumic furnace with uh, red power automation. Of course I should be placing a timer down there or something, but for now it's okay. Anyway, <coughs> now that we've uh, made this, we need to worry about, uh, well, investigation, investigating systems. So, let's see. Oh, and I am going to... I already started the pumpkin farm, by the way. I'm going to burn this, by the way, so... Okay, I just crafted some more bookshelves and let's see what we discover in here. Let's hope we aren't going to be losing too much uh, crystals right now. Uh, well. Yay! A, frame, a fragment of tainted knowledge. Uh, Thaumonomicon. Hmm, I believe I can do one of the of those now. Yeah, I have nine in total, and what I don't have is a book right now. But I can make one. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, this goes up. That's one level at a time. Uh, I believe ink sacks are the very best. Mm, still not enough. Mm, let me see. Obsidian. Maybe I need to go down a little, or maybe obsidian is really... Yeah, obsidian is cheap. So let's get uh, 8 obsidian and see what we can get with this. Yay! We can get 4 books. Perfect. And some leftovers. Wood. So let's see if I can craft this uh, Thaumonomicon with this. Yes, I can. And the Thaumonomicon, I believe, will store it all the discoveries I made. Of course, I just uh, gimped myself a little, but it's not really a problem, since I can just... Hey, 36% success! Of course, I failed. So, what I'm trying to do here is to discover something tainted. Nope, no luck. So... We are going to place this in here and wait for the best to happen. Meanwhile, time to wait and do some other stuff. I'm going to storage the Thaumonomicon in here and I'm going to take back, uh, downstairs the Vaporous Crystals. And I didn't realize I already had some fragments down here. <laughs> well. <coughs> So we can still play hardball. Ha ha ha. Okay, let's see. This, this, and the Eldritch Knowledge, for example. Well, let's see. 36% <coughs> success, 80% loss, of course. <coughs> Hey, got something! The Atomic Duplicator. The Arcane Focus Fire. Oh well. This is for the Arcane Bore, which I am not going to use. And I suppose I should start with Buildcraft, now that I think about it. A quarry would uh, provide a lot of materials that I could be using. Arcane Focus Earth. <sighs> Damn the lost knowledge. This, do I? Oh, of course, I need to do something with this. 
I suppose. Okay, I just checked the, the time I have been recording and I am past the half hour timing. So, this is it for episode 7. I hope to see you on the next episode number 8 where I am going to try and make a quarry and, uh, well, I suppose I will try to craft more of these uh, thingies to produce power to um, make the quarry work. But in the, f uh, the first steps, I suppose it will be coal po uh, powered, or at least uh, wood powered, which means I am going to need to start making use of uh, forestry. Yay! Excitement! We're going to start with two mods at the same time. See you on the next episode, people! Have fun!